The first reaction is one fear. So when they... These are good times for Tinga Group, as the Nigeria police has exonerated and cleared its founder, Dozi Mobusi, of any financial infractions and involvement in alleged fraudulent diversion and misrepresentation of financial report using forged documents. The acting managing director of Tingo, Olaide Ayola, had accused the company's leadership of forging financial document and misreporting asset worth hundreds of millions of dollars. A police report dated the 30th of July 2024 and addressed to the Inspector General of Police by the Commissioner of Police, Legal and Prosecution at the Force Criminal Investigation Department finds no evidence to substantiate these claims. Mr. Mobosi now has the much needed reprieve as his businesses had been under intense scrutiny. He, however, clarified that accusations of improper financial transfers were rooted in misunderstanding. But I will still say, look, we're not there yet. It is until this arm of the business is able to solve every um, every problem farmers in Africa has. Um, there's a lot of post-harvest um, loss issues in Nigeria where you you harvest before it gets to the market. You know, sixty percent is gone. You can't sell it. With investigations now over, the founder of Tinga says is now trying to use his goodwill to take the company private and protect the interest of his shareholders. And that is why I'm saying, look, let's go elsewhere and make sure that shareholders are, are, are you know, they, that um, they are protected. And that is what I continue to say to shareholders of, of Tingo Group that will continue, I personally will continue to do everything possible to make sure that everyone is fine at the end of the day. The financial turbulence surrounding Tingo has had significant repercussions including the company's recent delisting from the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. Despite these challenges, Mr. Dozi Mobosi remains optimistic more than ever before about the future of his company.